Um, next, we're going to switch to um, Natasha at Creative Support to tell us a little bit more about their offer. Uh, but apologies, I've just reset the slides, so just bear with me whilst I bring them up and I'll hand, them hand you over to Natasha to get started. Hi everybody, um, my name is Natasha, I'm the Creative Manager for Creative Support. Thanks for coming along today. Just while we're waiting for the slides, just to talk about a bit about Creative Support. So we are uh, a national non-for-profit. We're based in Stockport now, so we moved to Stockport about three years ago. Um, we have roles across England now. We work in over 65 local authorities. So we have services up in Newcastle um, and as far south as Essex. We have services across Greater Manchester, so, so today's career service is really based on our Greater Manchester services. But for us that includes areas like Thameside, um, Bolton, uh, Stockport. So we have we have lots of vacancies and they do vary. So our head office um, is based just opposite Stockport College, for those who are familiar with, with, with Stockport. So we do have some vacancies that, that aren't current support roles. So they would be within our finance team, our HR team. So if you are interested in a non-care and support role, please do have a look at our website. Uh, the details are on one of these slides. Uh, the website is www.creativesupport.co.uk. Uh, you can give us a call. Our head office number is 0161 236 0829. Um, and you can contact me anytime or the recruitment team anytime about any of our roles. We do have senior roles and, and managerial roles. So we have area manager roles, senior support worker roles, um, activity coordinator roles in some of our London services. Our roles do vary um, as our services vary. So do, do have a look at our work for us page on our website. Just a bit of background in terms of, of who we are. This is our 30th year that we're celebrating this year, which is it, it's great for us. We're, we're really happy um, in terms of everything that we've been able to do for the last 30 years. So we were set up by our current CEO, Anna Luntz, um, 30 years ago. We we are a non-for-profit and that's really very key to who we are and what we do. There are other health and social care organisations and agencies um, who, who are working in a really expanding and challenging sector. Um, but, but we're key in that we're non-for-profit and that really reflects our, our values and ethos. So we're a Stonewall Diversity Champion. That's really important to us. You can see a picture there of, of one of our floats of pride. Um, we're an Investors in People Silver Employer and we received Investors in People Goals this year for our HR and learning and development teams. And we're a Disability Competent Employer. So that, that's all key to, to who we are and what we do. And that's really reflected in what we're looking for. So if you're if you're looking for a new career, if you've been furloughed, if you've been made redundant, if you're not sure what you want to do, this is a really, really good time to, to have a try, to have a look, especially in health and social care. I'm just with, 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 sorry, Caroline. Um, sorry, Caroline, I don't know if you've said anything then. I'll, I'll just continue. Um, so in terms of the global pandemic, it's it's been a difficult time um, for a lot of health and so social care organisations and um, and the NHS. We've done really well in terms of being able to support our staff. So we we have PPE, our staff are at the forefront of those getting the vaccine. Our services are, are, are fun services working and they're safe. And I think that's a really important message for everybody. I think it, it's been a, it's been a scary time for a lot of us. But working in health and social care isn't isn't scary. It's it's great fun. It's it's different every day, um, and uh, that takes us on to, to what does a support worker do? A support worker is somebody that goes and supports somebody in their every day to day life, really. So that might be somebody with a mental health need. So you might be supporting somebody to um, go to the bank to get their bills paid to to budget. We might be supporting an adult with a learning disability in their own home. So that might be things like um, preparing dinner or taking medication and giving personal care. Uh, you might be supporting older people in one of our extra care services and that's about popping in and making sure people don't feel isolated, especially at this time. It's a variety of, there's a variety of roles 
um, and they vary really depending on the people that you're going to be supporting. And Caroline, next slide please. So we discussed a little bit about head office roles and senior roles. Um, as I said, you can have a look at our website for those. So if you are interested in a new career and you want to work for a non-for-profit, um, do, do come on board, do have a look. We also have a CV service available. So if you looked at our website and you can't find a role that's right for you now, um, but you do want to stay with us, just pop uh, your CV on an email to us. Uh, and we'll keep that and we'll review upcoming roles. So this is a day in the life as a support worker, just to give you, I suppose, a taster of, of the role that you could look forward to with us. Um, this is a, obviously this has been anonymised, but, but this is um, yeah. supporting, say, an adult or um, two adults with a learning disability in their own home. So a lot of our service users live in, in, the, in their own home and it's about supporting people to to live the life that, that everybody everybody leads um, you know it's about getting up in the morning and um, breakfast and activities vary depending on who you're supporting so one of our service users has um, a, a ball pool that, that they enjoy going into um, some of our service users go to work some of our service users um, volunteer there are different activities depending on what people like and what people do and we really do try and match staff to service users. So if you're really into football or, or gaming or swimming, we'd like to match you to one of our service users who, so that you can share those passions. Because I think that, that's how AIR works really well. When you're working with someone and you're sharing the things that you both enjoy. Thanks, Caroline. So the next slide is um, a short video about creative support. It really looks at
That's great, thank you, Caroline. Thanks very um, much. The audio and video is slightly out of sync, but there's some really, really nice footage there. Um, so I think that explains probably better than I can about the nature of the work and the nature of the campaign. Um, the last slide is just about benefits of, of working with creative support, which I thought it was worth highlighting. Um, some of the benefits, one of the new benefits that I really enjoy um, is an extra day off on your birthday every year, uh, which is really nice and encourages you to take your birthday off. We also have our Creative Academy. So you heard from Ray there as part of the video in terms of the training and the ongoing training and development we have as part of Creative Support. That's really important to underline. So we have our own training academy. Thank you, Cameron, that's it. Um, we have our own training academy, Creative Academy. Um, so pre-COVID, we were delivering over 300 courses nationally. Um, obviously, that, that's changed slightly, but we still are offering training. We've got face-to-face -face training as well as e-learning. Um, and that's really important, especially if you're new to, to health and social care. Um, you'll receive your mandatory training. You'll, be, you'll start on your care certificate. Uh, you can go on to your diploma um, and as Ray says in the, in the video, you can carry on training and learning with us and that's really important. Our service, so our head of HR, Julie Cook, she does with us as a support worker in our Bolson services. She now heads our um, HR and service director for many of our services. So that's how important it is that we, we take our staff and, and a lot of our senior staff and managers and service directors are homegrown. Um, so you really can develop with us. It's not just something that we say. We've got an, a competitive rates of um, pay and, and annual leave. One of the really important things for us is paid paid leave, um, which a lot of competitors don't offer. So that's maternity leave, paternity leave, adoption leave, compassionate leave, the carers leave, um, we'll receive paid leave on those, and £100 
on completion of your probationary period, which is four months with basic support. So those are just some of the benefits I've picked out today to talk to you about. Again, they are on all of our job descriptions. So if you do have a look at our website, greatsupport.co.uk, and go to, to the work for us page and just type in the area that you want to work in or your home postcode and have a little look at, at some of those some of those vacancies. Again, if you do have any queries, just give me a call anytime. It's 07972 735 357. My mobile's on from 8 till 8, Monday to Friday.